Okay guys, let's look at this second voltage divider for the screen grids and the plates of the receiver as uh, denoted here. You can see I've got the B plus on the Variac adjusted for my uh, 240 volts DC as I mentioned in the previous video and we'll look at our tap location and we'll just round up to 107. So let's take a look at the voltage divider in detail. Let's look at the first section of the uh, voltage divider, the uh, 10K across the uh, resistor, 133 volt drop. And again, I had already mentioned the other drop here, 107, rounded up. So here's a look at the voltage divider in detail. You can see it's just a two section, that being that 10K and 25K. My input voltage, as I mentioned earlier, of 240 volts. The uh, B plus supply driving around uh, 54 milliamps of current. As you can see on the right side of the screen, I've got the voltage drop per section called out. Uh, as we measured, 133 for the top and 107 at the tap location back to ground. If you look at the first section of the voltage divider R1, you can see I've got the current called out. Taking voltage divided by resistance, that gives us uh, just north of 13 milliamps. Off to the far right, you can see the calculations again. We'll take the 240 volt input minus the 107. Divide that by the current, and you can see that uh, comes back to a 10K resistor, which we have in place. Moving down to the second section, you can see the same math. Voltage divided by resistance gives us about 4.28 uh, or so milliamps of current flowing through R2. Again, that bleeder resistor is typically about 10% uh, of the current flow of the B plus so in this case I'm just shy of uh, 5 milliamps of current and same math here I've got to take the remaining voltage that's left which is the 107 divide that by the 4.28 or 4.3 milliamps of current and you can see that gives us right at 25,000 ohms of DC resistance for R2 also known as the uh, bleeder resistor. As you guys probably know, an unloaded voltage divider will have a higher output voltage. When you load the voltage divider down, of course, the more current, less voltage available to be used. In this case, I have that represented by RL. To calculate RL in this design, you can see to the right, I'm just taking the current on R1 minus the R2 current and that gives us the remaining current there for the load itself, which is the screen grids and the plates of the tubes that are called out above. If you look at the middle of the screen at the bottom, you'll see I've got RT called out. Again, that's the total resistance, that being R1 added to the parallel combination of R2 and the load itself together. So you can see how the resistance is lower, thus the uh, current consumption goes up. You'll also see the calculations there for RL. In addition, for each section, you'll see I called out the power requirements in watts, just using the voltage squared divided by resistance for each section with a overhead factor of 5 in my case. I usually try to stay at uh, 5 or slightly below that. I'll share the screen now for the OEM design. You'll see the subtle differences in current and of course the voltage uh, drops are different uh, based on the different uh, resistors that were initially used. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Everyone out there uh, take care and stay well.